next time I date without my coffee. What's going on guys, my name is Katonic. Welcome back to the channel. Usually, I would be, uh, usually I'd just be on Pro Tools all day and just doing my own thing. Lately, I've gotten more of a production goat spurt and I joined a Discord server for Ed Talenti, who is an awesome producer, beat maker, YouTuber, all of the above. Super cool guy. Okay, so wait, oh, shit. Okay, so. This is what he sent us to sample. So I'm, for me, the hard part is kind of not only depicting, you know, the chords, the rhythm, the melody, all that stuff. It's not only that, but the sample he gave us also has background noise, background ambience, and it's not a single tone. A lot of what this man is doing is in no perfect order. It's, it's just a random notes that he's playing to demonstrate the instrument. That's the hardest part about it. Let's, let's load this into Ableton. Let's open you up. I put you in my downloads. You were right here. Yes, Ableton, you can import videos with Ableton. A lot of people don't know um, why you can't do this. If you're on a Windows, you need to import, you need to download on like some kind of driver or something. I'm not, I don't even know, but this is Mac, so it should just happen automatically. <laughs> Okay, I, I like this. I like this one part over here. I like. I actually like that grittiness right there. Let's let's um. Let's do that. So. Actually, no. Let's. Okay, let's hold on. Let's do that, and then let's duplicate you. And then now we're gonna delete this. We have one section of just like. Um, parts that I like. And then on this one, on, let me just do this real quick. We're going to drag it out and we're going to split it. Yeah, I figured. Okay. Um. Yeah, there we go. Yes, quarter notes, I hope. Okay, here we go. I kind of want to use these. We can work with that we can work with that we can work with that we can I'm trying to think of how we can work with that but we can we can definitely work with that this might be considered cheating but i have a good idea Okay, 
so what I did was that I grabbed a beat that I made from another project, sampled it into this project. Now it's sounding pretty decent. Now we have like a base uh, foundation as to what it's gonna sound like. I'm gonna convert this into a sample. I think that's the best way to proceed. It's just convert things into the samples because it's a lot easier to work with. Cool. Open it up. And I wanna pitch this down an octave. Cause that'll be fun. hearing oh, I like hearing the bump bump like I think I should put uh, some delay on this some delay and echo on it I, I think delay is a lot more appropriate here I honestly this eludes me a lot of a lot of what was sampled here is, is isn't a lot to go off of but I, I think that was his intent I'm, I'm fine with that chill beat like I'm not gonna throw in any uh, obviously with a pinch of salt because I, I know I can make it better some somehow some way but it sounds pretty decent for what it is and I'm not gonna dismantle this progress that I have right now just because I didn't enjoy it so we're chilling. This is a lot better. We are here in the studio today. I just wanted to walk you guys around, take you guys through it. This is where I'll be filming, recording, and doing all of the above now that it's semi-complete. Uh, keyword is semi. Um, yeah, just walk you through it. So what we really have, starting from the top to bottom, as you can tell, I got my new um, Ares E 4.5 speakers. You could also tell that the space that I'm in is actually super tight, so um, I need something small that could pack a good punch, and these are I, one of the best things I've ever bought, pretty much. The sound is crystal, it's great for monitoring. I just really wish I had a subwoofer, but without it, it's does it does more than enough to do the job. 
especially in this small ass room. Right next to those, we got my two monitors. They're just some Scepter HD monitors, nothing too crazy, just something that can give me good quality video and something I can get back onto. Below that, or behind that, we got one of the lights uh, for the the cool little aesthetic that I got going on that blue and that purple is what we're rebranding our channel to apart from that you know we got the B61 MIDI keyboard from Elise's it's such an amazing keyboard man it's I wish the, the the keys were a little bit softer but you can't expect much from a MIDI keyboard then we got the desk and the desk includes a lot of things first off I added a little tray underneath the desk so that I could pull back and forth my mouse and keyboard that way I have the space on top to write on for like school and stuff like that but what's really fun is what's next to it and that's my Scarlett 2i2 uh, two inputs two outputs great great little little audio interface for my small little setup here um, I got connected to that Sennheiser E35 microphone dynamic microphone the one that you're hearing me on right now is my co one u Pro um, studio connector mic this is a great mic itself but this one is great for like podcasting and, and announcement stuff which I'll be using in further videos to um, to kind of narrate and you know do whatever I want to do over here we got the audio drawer um, I, it's audio drawer now because I, I don't have a closet worth of stuff to have but I do have a small bit of cables and, and you know this extra mic that you guys are hearing me on so I need a, I need a good little space to put all of that away and that's pretty much it you know it's a small little setup I got Pro Tools oh I forgot to tell you guys on my my right sorry on my right is my MacBook Pro 2019 over here is my Windows uh, laptop that you've seen in previous videos um, I use mostly this one for recording Recording as in recording, uh, recording and editing videos, and I use this one for production and mixing and all that stuff. I forgot to mention that I do have my HD 280 Pro Sennheiser headphones. Awesome, awesome pair of headphones. I did turn in a mix with these headphones, and I got back a complaint saying, dude, this is super bass heavy. I don't know what happened, and turns out it's just the headphones that don't have a lot of bass response. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. We're done for today. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this awesome like vlog type of video. It was just you know coming in, uh, doing that weird challenge thing, you trying to come up with something, but obviously there are days where it's good and there are days where it's bad. And today it was kind of meh in the middle. We we're able to do something, but it's, it doesn't mean that everything that we're gonna do is gonna come out so perfect. So hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed you know watching the reality type of thing. Um, if you guys want to see a lot more of this, and if you guys want to see this more of this type of content where it's just you know me doing the thing and and showing you guys some some skills or some some tips or advice and stuff like that please if you, please leave a comment down below if you've enjoyed that please like and subscribe hit that notification bell please guys you're the only people who can take this channel further you and i can move this channel to where it needs to be and i really appreciate that if you've done that already my name is ben kytonic thank you guys for watching please follow my instagram social media it's all gonna be down there i post weekly content on there whether it's video tutorials tiktoks um the weird setups i do i i set up in my backyard i set up in my living room hope you guys enjoyed leave a like down below i'm in catonic thank you guys for watching catch you later peace